Hello and welcome to our viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold Learning. And I am very excited today because we are working on a brand new symposium here at Gold. And this is the Gold Learning Early Years Online Symposium of 2021, where you will learn the latest evidence-based continuing education for, family, for healthcare providers working with families aged, with children aged zero to three. And here with me today is one of our speakers of the symposium, Kim Barthel. Welcome, Kim. It's so lovely to see you here. Mm, thank you, Kristen. It's a <laughs> pleasure to be with you today. <laughs> it's wonderful to have you here. And this is a brand new symposium here for us at Gold. So we're very excited to um, learn new information here. And um, you are, of course, an expert in the field. You wear so many hats. I've seen that you are a clinician, an instructor, and a consultant, facilitator, and so much more. So, Kim, tell us a little bit about your journey, your professional journey, and how this topic came of interest to you. Mm. Well, my educational background is I'm an occupational therapist with a deep love of the brain. And throughout my this is my 37th year of being a clinician therapist, my interest has been in that of mental health and serving uh, children and families where developmental trauma is an influencing factor in their lives. I wrote a book with former NHL hockey player here in Canada, National Hockey League is what that means, Theo Fleury. And we wrote a book on healing from trauma as his experience as a youth was that of sexual abuse. So understanding trauma from the inside out has been an aspect of my, my long legacy of my career. Thank you so much for sharing that. That went really um, deep there. I, I know you have uh, co-authored that book and um, it, it is a fascinating book. It is available, of course, uh, online and in stores, of course. Uh, uh, tell us again the uh, the conversation with Rattlesnakes, was it called Raw and Honest Reflections on Healing and Trauma, right? That's correct, yes. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yes, um, you mentioned that uh, the brain, the, you're fascinated with the brain and you have been um, in, in this arena, in this field for 37 years and, and trauma is, is your passion there as well. And, you know, thinking back over these 37 years, I feel like even mm. now, every day there is so much research and new information available. I mean, for you, it must be like, is this road of it's it's never ending right is it, it must be very fascinating and interesting for you to see all that the development from from you know when you uh, had your beginnings to now and and the future it's actually incomprehensible really <laughs> and when i think about I, i'm on a neural network and i get a research paper every 10 seconds wow it's almost impossible to be current in all of the thinking. And, and I was just sharing with a colleague yesterday how I go in and out of spaces of information overwhelm. Mm. And I, I call it sticky notes on the wall. And it's that time when you're gathering new information and you've got, when you've got sticky notes all over the place, and then you integrate it and you pull it back in. Mm -hmm. and put it together with what you already understand. And that's what happens to each and every learner, yeah. is every new piece of information comes into their already existing repertoire of their experience. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes learning fun. Indeed, it makes learning fun. And, and you mentioned something interesting, this overwhelm of information and this the sticky notes, I like that, the, how you describe it there. Um, it can also, this learning process can also be a little bit painful, right? Because we see sometimes that what we thought we know that was correct is no longer valid because there's no information available. And sometimes this kind of adjustment, it's almost like a, a little bit of a growing pain. Oh, absolutely. At the heart of trauma sensitive being living mm -hmm. is the only person you can change is yourself. Hmm. 
Yeah. So often we want deeply to know what do I do for others? Mm-hmm. And at the, the secret of it is how do I show up mm-hmm. with people? And this whole idea of information, information eventually needs to be embodied, mm-hmm. which means it belongs to us. Mm-hmm. And that requires reflection. Mm-hmm. It requires the ability to say, mm, I, how do I uh, take what I know and be able to examine my inner self and how does this fit and work for me? So mm-hmm. reflective process is a big part of what helps you erase things that don't belong. Mm-hmm integrate new learning, but also expand within yourself Mm -hmm. in the learning that you already had. Mm -hmm. And also have that sense of, keep that sense of curiosity, right? Um, And not thinking, okay, I know so much already, but uh, you know, what else is out there? What, what, What else can I include here in, you know, you know, helping my families, the families I work with, and, and coming now to the topic of trauma sensitive care, you know, especially with the little ones, the most, uh, you know, vulnerable population. Oh, my goodness, it is such a uh, it, that that topic is is sometimes weighs very very heavy on on us care providers, right? We know, I mean, they are the little ones, and so much that happens can go wrong and, and can have long lasting, uh, you know, I mean, lifelong consequences for these little ones. I I find it sometimes this burden is is really heavy. Mm, it's it's true, and when I began my career. There was a belief that what you experienced in infancy was not remembered. Mm -hmm. And what we now deeply appreciate is its footprint is in every aspect of your cells Mm -hmm. and how that falls out into how you live your life across your lifespan. Mm -hmm. So yes, it does feel heavy on the shoulders of those of us who support families. But I always remember, especially when I am in a relationship with parents, is that they are adults who are children in big bodies. Hmm. And sometimes my co-regulation of them is what's going to be the most impactful on the child. Wow. Yeah. So it's not, you know, I may have my mind on the child, which I, of course, need to, but it's not just the child. Mm -hmm. this big picture of care that I can have in the relationship that I have Mm -hmm. with the adults who care for that child. Absolutely. And I can imagine there's a lot of wounded children in those, uh, within those adults Mm. as well. As all of us, all of us walking around. Yes, Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Yeah. You brought up a very interesting point. If you, Decades ago, years ago, you know, it was uh, said, oh, what happens in babyhood, childhood, toddlerhood, that's not so important, you know, Um, once they go to school or once they're older, that's when the important formative years come in. But we know now that this is not true. And and the brain, the brain, you know, is so (laughs) in the development already, you know, in the womb. I mean, we're learning now also, you know, about the development in the womb, how important that is there as well for the, for the, um, you know, um, um, care there for our families, you know, before um, before they're even born there. So let's talk about the topic here at, uh, at the symposium. And your topic is your presentation is titled Trauma Sensitive Care in the Early Years. That's a big topic. And I know you only have 60 minutes. It's <laughs> how did you go about it going? Oh, my gosh, how can I stuff everything into these 60 minutes? <laughs> So give us a little bit of uh, what you're uh, working with here with us. Your, your comment makes me giggle because it's a dilemma. <laughs> yeah. to speak about your life's work in 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I just decided that like the sticky notes on the wall, the more you know, the harder it is to be really succinct. And I thought in this experience of sharing these ideas with you for the time that we have, it's a touchstone. Mm -hmm. It's an invitation to broaden your curiosity, 
just to understand the punch of the impact mm -hmm. and what you can do in the moment when you're with a family. So I, I wanted to get to the heart of creating compassion, that what is happening to the developing child, infant, uh, is changeable in the moment with your knowledge about it, just how you respond to families. So that's what I hope to achieve in 60 Minutes. Wow, that's that's fantastic. Uh, oh, Kim, I can't even tell you how much I am looking forward to the presentation here. And uh, to our viewers, of course, after these 60 minutes, they can uh, still have access to you. They, you know, you have a website, you have programs, you have courses, right? You, you do speaking engagements. Uh, why don't you uh, let our viewers know how they can find you? Sure. Our website is kimbarthel.ca, and that's the primary location, but you can also find us on every social media platform. I say we because we are a company called Relationship Matters. And in fact, we are a team uh, of educators that support the globe in the awareness of these topics. So thanks for that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Uh, the the uh, name of the company, um, you know, uh, <laughs> relationship matters. That's absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you, Kim, for spending time here with me and talking about your life's work and, uh, and the upcoming presentation here at Gold. I'm looking forward to it very much. Great. Thank you very much, Kristen. Look forward to October the 5th. And to our viewers now, if you would like to find out more about this presentation here, you can find more information out at goldlearning.com. There you will find information about the other presentations of the symposium. It's a two-day live symposium on October 4th and 5th. And don't worry if you cannot be there live, everything is of course recorded and accredited so you can view this at a later date as well. Thank you again, Kim, for spending time here with me and and thank you to our international audience here. Bye-bye, everyone.